The leader of one of the UK's largest pharmaceutical companies is calling for businesses to encourage more women to take up careers in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Nikki Yates, who is the UK general manager of GSK, is travelling to the United Nations in New York to represent the Women's Business Council, alongside Women and Equalities Minister Maria Miller. They will lobby delegates from around the world about the importance of women working in these so-called STEM professions. Statistics are showing us that in careers, particularly technology and engineering careers, also scientific research, there is a serious problem with the perception of those subjects and careers with girls. And so we critically have to change that. We need to be able to inspire young girls um, at the time that they're coming up, for example, to choose their GCSE options into understanding what a career in STEM can be like. Ms Yates, who originally trained as a nurse before joining GSK 20 years ago, is working to remove myths surrounding STEM to inspire younger generations. My eldest daughter has just chosen her GCSEs options. There was no option in my household that she could not do physics, chemistry and biology. And the way that I go about it is, for example, uh, inspire her, I hope, uh, with stories about what I do every day. So when I went out to Africa to see how our vaccines were being developed, uh, specifically for malaria, came back, showed her pictures, talked to her about it, she was totally inspired when and I started to talk about that type of thing. Ms Yates says a diverse workforce makes good business sense to any company, as she believes that more women working in STEM jobs is crucial to the economy. Currently in the UK, around 13% of women are employed in the science, technology, engineering or mathematics sectors. Ms Yates hopes her visit to the UN will inspire businesses to encourage more women into STEM professions. She points to GSK's example, where half of the UK staff are women. GSK are urging others to follow their lead, in engaging with schools and local communities to get young people excited by STEM. The gender balance in medicine is about equal, but as soon as you go away from medicine in other scientific research or technology and engineering, then actually the gender balance is skewed, 80% male, 20% female. I definitely think that the perception of STEM careers is very much about sitting in a laboratory day in, day out, or tinkering with cars, uh, that actually it's very sort of uh, unilateral, if you like, uh, very singular, rather than collaborative and creative, which seems to attract girls into careers.